Hi guys, welcome back to my safe space kitchen. So today I'm going to be making peanut soup, aka in Katimkwai. Peanut soup is very popular, especially on Sundays, if you know what I mean. So that's what I'm going to be making today. I have two different ways that I make peanut soup, so I'm going to be sharing one today and hopefully share the other one another time. But in the meantime, if this is your first time coming across my page, this is my safe space kitchen. I make cooking videos and I try to make it as fun as possible. Hit on that subscribe button and hit on the notification bell so you don't miss another video. Now let's get into this recipe. So these are the main ingredients for this particular recipe. If I forget something, don't worry, I will list all the ingredients in the description down below. In here I have my cow feet or cow leg. Um, when you get it from the African market, typically it's fresh, but I smoke mine in the oven. So that's why it looks like that. I also have some super cool, um, which is my salted fish. Um, that also helps, you know, it boosts the flavor. Here I have my beef that I got from the African market as well. Um, and then in this bowl I have my mackerel which I baked and I freeze so that's what you know that's why it looks like that because it's frozen but by the time that I'll be ready to use it it's gonna be fully defrosted and ready to go um, I also have my um, you know the holy trinity which is your onions your garlic your ginger and your pepper here though I have some shallot but I also have onions as well but you know Typically, that's our holy trinity. Here, I have my green herb marinade, which if you have not seen that video, I will list it in the description down below. Feel free to check it out and try it. Trust me, it will boost your flavor and the smell is gonna be amazing, okay? Um, I also have my peanut paste, which I got from the African market. Um, if you can't find, you know, on sweet peanut paste get you some natural peanut paste from your reg regular store that should work fine as long as it's not sweet you should be fine I also have some tomato sauce and I have some tomato paste as well whatever brand you choose to use it should work just fine um, I happen to like hunts so you know I'm I just stick with it I have some tomatoes and um, one medium-sized onion and then I have my salt and some seasoning now um one thing that I forgot is my all-purpose seasoning and some anise seed. I will list that in the description down below as well. So the first thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to go ahead and just blend my um, onions, my garlic, my ginger, and um, that will go in here. You know, I blended my um, anise seed with that as well. And um, to that, I'm going to add my salt and my seasoning, some tomato sauce. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to use all my tomato sauce, as you can see. And then I'm going to go ahead and add some tomato paste as well. Now, once I add my tomato paste, I go ahead and add um, my onions and my tomatoes. And then the next thing that I'm going to be doing is I'm going to go ahead and let this cook. I'm going to be cooking this on medium heat. But remember, this is meat, so it's a little bit tough, right? So just give it time to cook. Just check up on it from time to time and just make sure that, you know, the meat is cooking evenly and, um, you know, just it's cooking the way that you want it to. You don't want any burns, so you want to pay attention to it. That's all. So while my meat continues to cook in my blender, I'm going to go ahead and scoop some of my peanut paste and um, also add some of my tomato paste and I'm simply going to blend it. Now typically um, you can use warm water and um, to melt the peanuts and the tomato paste and then you know simply just mash it with your hands but um, you guys, I don't know how to mash it and cut your new peanut new together so hey and cut your new tomato paste me ni saba sano so i simply just blend it just to save me the headache so i've i've been blending it and it works for me every time so once it's blended like so i go ahead and i add some water to my blender because you know there's a little bit left in there and i pour that water into my pot as well and I mix it in really well. This is where you wanna mix it in really well because you wanna avoid any lumps. You don't want the um, 
mixture to be lumpy so mix it in really well and then once it's nicely mixed it's ready to be cooked now you want to pay attention because peanut will burn quickly it will stick to the pot and it will burn so just pay attention to it and once you see that the color has changed like so and it's starting to be fragrant oil is going to stop popping up and that's your indication that it is ready to be transferred into the soup because it is fully cooked and it's good to go so once my peanut mixture is done, I go ahead and check up on my meat, and as you can see, it's cooking beautifully, okay? So the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and transfer my onions and my tomatoes into my blender, and I'm gonna go ahead and blend that and pour that back into my soup. So um, I don't have the footage of that, but that's all that I did there. Blend it and pour it in there. And then the next thing is to add my peanut mixture into my soup just like so and then I'm gonna keep adding water now this is a big pot so it requires a little bit more water than you know like a, this is a 35 quart pot so it's pretty big so um, if you check out the measurements you know like the exact recipe and you know you you don't you're not making it you know in a large quantity just um, split it into two just divide the measurements and just use it that way okay so I'm gonna keep adding water here until I feel like the water is enough and then I'm just gonna leave it to cook Look. So my soup has been cooking for about 10 minutes um, so I'm gonna go ahead and add my macro and once my macro is added I go ahead and lower my heat and just continue to let this cook for another um, 5 to 10 minutes. So after cooking my soup for about 10 minutes, this is what it's looking like. It's looking really good. So I'm going to go ahead and do a taste test, okay? So I'll give my soup a little bit of a mix here. Um, remember, there's fish in here, so you don't want to mix it vigorously, okay? Just do it gently. And then I'm going to taste my soup to make sure that my salt and my seasons are nice and well adjusted in the soup. If it's not, then this is the time for you to add some salt or whatever seasoning that you want to add to your soup. Make sure you do that because you don't want to wait till the last minute to do it. So after 10 minutes of cooking my soup, my soup is done and it's looking really good. As you can see, there's that soup reduction line, so that's an indication that my soup is indeed done. Um, in Chi, we will say that in Kwana Re Wahum. And see, that means to say I'm Kwana Abani. And that's a cue for me that my soup is done. Um, I always pay attention to that because that's an indication that, you know, a lot of the water has reduced. And so everything in the soup is nice and well balanced, okay? Um, so you always want to do that. You always want to take time for your soup to actually cook properly because if you don't do that once you turn off the heat the water is going to separate from the vegetables and you're going to be forced to mix it in really well before you can serve it and you don't want that so yeah this is what my soup looks like it is completely done now so i at this point i lower it and i go ahead and i make my omutu which is my rice ball typically that's what we enjoy our peanut soup with but you can also eat it with fufu or you can just enjoy it on its own so um, this is what a mutu looks like, rice ball. Um, hopefully in my next um, peanut video, I will show you guys how I make it, but it's very simple. Literally just rice and a lot of water. And then you just cook it and then you stir it and then you turn it into a ball. Very simple. But anyway, you guys, this is the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you liked it. Thank you so much for sticking it out with me. I really appreciate every single one of you. Thank you all so much. And if you made it to the end of this video and you have not subscribed, hit the subscribe button for me, help a girl grow her channel. Again, I am new to this YouTube thing and I'm trying as hard as I can. So your support is really appreciated and it means a lot to me. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'll see you in my next video.